Hey y'all, it's Michelle from The Scattered Scrapper. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to share with you the kit that I have put together for Killa Kit Sunday for the month of October for Scrappleween. And let me put this aside and I will show you what I have picked out. The kit that I'm going to be using this month is based on Pink Fresh's Good Times. I saw this collection last year, I think. Yeah, last year. It came out in 2022. So I saw it last year. And while Pink Fresh is usually not my style, I fell in love with this collection. Of course, it's the fall one, and I absolutely love anything with the fall, so it really was not that that hard. This is the cover sheet here, and I love that their cover sheet is the same paperweight as the rest of the collection, so you can use it as just a piece of white cardstock if you need it. Um, so there's that one, and then here are is a stripe that has all the colors in the collection. And this one's called Good Day. So we have the stripes on one side and we have this kind of like this plaid with green and gray and white. And then we have this one, which of course I absolutely love it. It's called New Rhythms and it's the leaves. And on the other side is just a green grid. And this really pretty le uh, leaf, well, yeah, there's leaves on here, but this pretty flower. It's very reminiscent of Sunflower or Black Eyed Susan. And it's, I really like that it has these more um, like oak leaves put in with it. So that's different. This one's called Simple Pleasures, and on this side it has these kind of, um, what is that, like folk art type flowers. And then this one, oh, so pretty. It's called Finding Joy, and I like this um, kind of a, is it maybe like a teal? Kind of a bluey green color? I don't know. It's pretty. I like that one um, with the acorns and here's like that kind of oak leaf type thing again and it's just so pretty how it's laid out. And then here's this soft kind of a pink color or a mauve. I guess it's more pink than it is purple. And then here's more leaves. This one's called Cozy Up and on this side is leaves leaves with polka dots and greens. I, th I think that polka dot is more of that bluey green color. And this one here called Here and Now, um, I just love this. I could just have these things as die cuts, just tons of them, and that would be wonderful. <laughs> and on this side, it's just like um, a diamond pattern with um, a purpley color. And then here we have Seize the Day. Now I could do without the moth. I'm, I'm not a huge moth fan. There's a lot of collections, especially when it comes to fall, that instead of having butterflies, it has moths, which I'm not sure why. I, I don't think moths and butterflies are in separate seasons, but I don't, maybe. <laughs> But I think moths and butterflies are usually in the same season. But um, aside from that, which it's not bad. It's not bad. It, it, it is, but <laughs> it's there. But I really like this flower here. And then on this side, we've got these kind of yellow ochre colored um, viney type leaves and then this one is so pretty. I love all of these colors together with the acorns and the different leaves and vines here and it's called Better Together and then it has a wallpaper look on the back in a bluey color and then here is called Golden Skies and it has some really pretty 
I guess these would be like just strips, obviously, uh, in the different colors of the collection. And then on this side, this also kind of looks like a wallpaper to me in that pinky, pinky purple color. And then here we have leaves in the colors of the collection called Be Present. And then on this side, it's got yellow leaves all around the border here. And this is a lighter pink. It's kind of the same family, same tones, but it's lighter than this pink here. And this one is really cute. This is called Change of Pace, and I like how it has the different little tags here with cinnamon and jasmine tea, dandelion, anise, just kind of um, different. I guess there's, they're not really, I mean they are tags, but it's more like they're tea, the little tags that come on tea, because <laughs> these I guess are all different teas. And on this side is the is the geometric. Um, Pink Fresh is has a lot of geometric. I'm not a huge geometric fan, but um, we can just use those. <laughs> so that this isn't my most favorite side of the paper. It, this side is. And then here are some cut aparts. And this paper is called Gratitude. And I really I really like the cut aparts. Um, these really help out if you don't have a lot of embellishments. So you can cut these out and use them. And the other side is that um, lighter purple in a um, wavy grid. And I think mine got dirty somehow. Because I don't think that's supposed to be part of <laughs> part of the pattern. And then I went through my collection of um, colored cardstock and I pulled some colors that I thought would go well with this collection to use as backgrounds um, or for matting. So I've just got a bunch of different colors here that I thought would go well. So there are those. And then in addition to the papers with this collection, I also got the Good Times Alphas. So I have the Puffy Alphas here, and I like it has numbers. Um, although, um, it, it only has one of each number, which that can be hard if you want to do like 2023, 20, you're you only have one too, <laughs> so can't do that. But there are, hmm, I could use more S's and T's, not so many U's, and really, two Q's is plenty. <laughs> we, we really don't need four. But um, I like the font, and the color is really pretty, so I have those. And I also have the ephemera piece, or ephemera pieces, rather. And let's see if you can see. They have all kinds of little things. I just love these these leaves. The florals are so pretty. So I'm and then there there's the little tea tea tag from the tea bag. And then I have the puffy stickers. Let's sit and stay a while. There's another tea. And these leaves, I, those leaves are probably going to be used up first thing. <laughs> That's nice. There's an anise. Um, I'm like, hmm, I could use that just when I'm doing a layout about cooking. <laughs> and then here I also have the teeny tiny little alphabets. Um, these are so cute. I, I just love these colors. They look so pretty together. I could use these in um, of this size in my pocket page scrapping. I would, I like getting these for that. And there's two, oh yeah, I forgot. There are two sides. This is the green ones. And then these are the other side. 
That looks like you could use that in the summer for a beach. For a beach layout. <laughs> and then I also have the cardstock stickers. Oh, it's got some labels and some little journaling spots. And then this board, with mine, it was missing two of the little word stickers. And that's a bummer. I, I hate when that happens. I, I've opened it up and I've looked for them. And they're not just loose in the package. So that that's sad. That's disappointing. But sometimes it happens. And then I also have brought in this teal... Um, alphabet from Studio Calico. I just was like, wow, that just goes absolutely perfectly with this collection. So I brought those in. And I also brought in this Cork October with this um, kind of gold glitter in it. And this also, it came, I want to say it came from the same Studio Calico kit that I got these alphas in. Um, I don't, I've had this for several years, so I'm excited to see if I can't use that this year. Um, I also have brought in these little flowers here. I got these from Hobby Lobby, and I've, I've had these for a little while, and I just, the colors are, they're just perfect. I love when that happens. And I brought in these pumpkins also from Hobby Lobby and they're nice and shiny and they have these really pretty flowers on them. And those are really pretty. And I brought in these pumpkins. This is a little thick so I'm having a kind of a hard time using these. So I want to really challenge myself to get at least one. Just I'm just going to say I'm going to get one on a page. So I'm hoping to get that on a page. Which this also has been hard for me. Because it's really thick. And I don't mind some lump and bump. But when they get really, really thick, I have a hard time. Which brings me to these really pretty kind of prism-like, jeweled-like um, trucks. Which, oh, they're adorable. I love them. But they're also quite bumpy and um, and hard for me to use so I'm, I'm challenging myself to at least get one at least get one on there and then I also have some more leaves that I've brought in um, these may or may not be used it really depends I do have some monstera in my kitchen or a monstera in my kitchen so I might need to just like pull these aside and do a layout on my monstera in the kitchen um because these are kind of hard to use in the fall for me because we don't have those here in alabama unless it's a house plant so <laughs> it's it's kind of hard to use in the fall but the there are these leaves here that are changing and then i have these and i also have brought in these little um things there's family and thanks oh, I'm so sorry my camera just died there um, so as I was talking um, about these it's um, happy harvest and it has the leaves so I'm hoping to use some more of these and then I also have a few more of these little sunflower rhinestones they're so cute Maybe I can get the rest of those used up. And um, I also have the enamel dots for the Pink Fresh Good Times collection. And I just, I just love these colors. <laughs> they just look so pretty together. And then I also have some twine that I'm going to see about using and some washi tape that I might try to use. I like the little gingham here and of course a little black dot is really cute. And this one here is the Simple Stories. I, I don't know, I can't remember what this one is, but I just, I love it when you compare 
different companies together. So then I'm going to try to use those. And then I have some wood veneer leaves. I have these that um, I... I can't remember. I think these are LA Studio. And then these, I think, were from Hobby Lobby. So I've got some of those. And I have a hard time using wood veneer, too. So I want to challenge myself to use some of those. And then the last thing that I have is this baggie here of um, confetti. And I just got this at Hobby Lobby in the party section, or actually in the fall section. Um, a couple of years ago and it has acorns and different leaves and browns and golds and reds so I'm um, gonna try and use some of those and I think that's it yep that's all that's all for my kit for kill a kit Sunday I have some pictures planned out already so I am excited to get started and so be looking for the videos on Sundays for Kellicut Sunday. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.